y'all. So this is Nora. Meet Nora. Say hi, Nora. Hi, everybody. <laughs> she has taken me and the hubster back there to Caves, Caves Code. Cove. I, Cades, I, Cove. I, Cades Cove. I can't say that right. <laughs> um, which is supposed to be this big drive around thing in the Smoky Mountains that we wanted to see last time, but it was closed down. So this should be fun. Here we go. And Nora's one of y'all, by the way. <laughs> Noreen has a channel. What is the channel? It's Nori Lori's Keto and Health. Nori Lori's Keto and Health. And I think I actually seen that name and I should, should have known that was a channel. Um, uh, it's my all street keto. So it's Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch gets me in all kinds of trouble. <laughs> diamond does not. Lori. Uh, Nora, damn. <laughs> How much have you lost? I have lost 93 pounds in the last three years. Obviously, it's not been straight that well, no, huh? <laughs> That's what the channel is about, is my struggle and how to help other people through their struggles. Same problem here. Yeah. Uh, and you said three years, right? Yep. Awesome. That's awesome, right? You see, she's looking fantastic over here, right? I finally hit Wonderland. I, I'm i ecstatic. Oh, wow. That is always cool. And then when I hit about 210, my thermos went down, and now I get cold. Uh, yeah, it, it, that is a weird thing, As you it? see, I've been creaking the windows. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to leave Wonderland. <laughs> he is. The hubby's about to leave Wonderland. He didn't tell me to be there. <laughs> but, um, so she's doing great. I'm doing great except for this week. I'm not doing great this week. But we ain't going to lie about that. We're going to tell the truth because right. it's part of life. <laughs> and The best part is to have that plan to get back on. Oh, yeah. Like I was telling them earlier, I've got an anchor. They're my anchor. If I go on there and if I don't do a video or if I get on there and I'm gaining weight, they're going to be like, hey, excuse me, lady. No. <laughs> it's like, what you doing? <laughs> yep. I see you. I see you over there creeping up. So I do a weekly video on my weight loss progress, and that's to keep me accountable. Right. So I haven't weighed in today. That's going to be tomorrow. <laughs> okay. But we'll it'll be out on that. Monday. I didn't weigh in today either, but I didn't bring my scale. <laughs> I went camping a couple of weeks ago and did take my scale. That Did was really? interesting. Yes. Oh, wow. I, I would have, but he would have stroked. So... <laughs> I probably would have stroked too this morning after everything I ate yesterday. They sell fudge back there and I ate it all. And it was, uh, yeah. No, I didn't eat it all yet, but I'm going to. <laughs> okay. I mean, you expect when you go to do this stuff, you know you're going to gain that water weight. Oh, yeah. You expect it. Just get back to it. Can't let the scale scare you because no. I know when I get on there, there's every chance I could be 10 pounds heavier. Good on possibility. Monday. Yeah. I know that. And I know it's water weight. And I know eventually I will pee until I can't pee no more. <laughs> like I was telling her, I took that fluid pill. And, yeah, we searching for a potty now. Yeah, and it's it, we got all these beautiful trees around us, but I'm thinking bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. You never know. A bear can, could get you too. So. Yeah, and I have a bad experience with peeing in the woods. We went, me and my niece, who is about seven or eight years younger than me, went to a place called the Devil's Trump and Ground. I've heard of it. It's crap. <laughs> it's, it's, it's absolute crap but um there was stuff growing in the circle and it's not what you hear it is but anyway we both decided we was just gonna pee there in the woods you know nobody around and little hussy finished first pulled up her pants started screaming and running i'm midstream and i just decided to start screaming and running right along behind her because oh, yeah. <laughs> i didn't know what was coming i soaked myself great so i tried not to pee in the woods no more that's just me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would do it too. I know. But being a man, it's so much different. I know. Than he'd be just, he, he, we're so much more vulnerable peeing in the woods. I'm not fond of splashback. So no, that I, either. Uh uh. Like one time, Hubby's like, well, th there's nobody around peeing in the parking lot. I'm like, do you know what happens when you pee on concrete? When you have to squat and pee? Your butt's gonna get wet. Your legs gonna get wet. Something's getting in your shoe. Well, I learned all about the splashback because I went to Morocco and they do not have toilets. Well, most places don't. Right. So you got the French style porcelain oh, hole, and uh, you learn to control that stream real quick I, and how to aim in that hole. Oh damn. Yeah. Experiences. I just looked over and seen a cliff beside of us while ago. I was like, oh, where'd that come from? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get off here and look at the, sh the shiny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and all the pretty reds, orange, and yellows. Yes, it's gorgeous out here. It really is. Jealous. Now oh. I'm glad I met up with you because now I can get some pictures of these colors. Too. Oh, they're gorgeous. This whole area is beautiful. Windy. <laughs> oh, yeah. But 
and rocky, of course, but mountains. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> don't open the door. Yeah. yeah, don't open the door at all. <laughs> oh, old bridge. Love these. I uh, absolutely hate the road I, I live on because it's in one of those really narrow ones too. Oh, wow. <laughs> all open fields, but narrow. <laughs> we can always tell when we get close to home. We got all these little flat rolling fields, you know, with slight hills. <laughs> Up in here is like mountain everywhere it it really did take some adjusting to when we moved here um because i'm really origi i'm originally from michigan and right my mom moved me down to florida which michigan's rolling hills florida is flat 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 so <laughs> yeah it takes some getting used to around a curve and you can't see around the curve or you're going up a hill around a curve and you're like <gasps> now i'm used to it Oh man, I'm in love with this. <laughs> I mean, not being so close to the edge of the road, but I mean, that, that's gorgeous. See, where I'm from, in North Carolina, in the middle, if there's even a slight dip down, they got a guardrail. Okay, Out here, okay. not, not, uh, <laughs> no <curves>. guardrails. <laughs> and like some of these curves here, they're like really bad, and there's no signs. None, none. When I went to Wyoming, they had signs for little curves like this. Yeah. We were like, oh, this can be really bad. We were like, oh, yep. never mind. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Ah. Anybody fancy a sharp drop off? <laughs> I'm gonna go down there. Huh? I'm gonna go down there. I'd love to go down there and play. I could get down there. I don't know if I get back up. Well, getting back up might be half the battle there. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, I always wondered, the first person who discovered this, who said, let's build a road through there? Exactly. <laughs> it has to be an old log in there. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't think I would look at this terrain and think, huh. Let's build that up so we can make a road. Yeah. Let's just see what we can do here. Blast some dynamite and throw some concrete down. Man, like that's pretty. It. So we've been in Cade's Code for a little bit, seen some horses, had a bear kind of cross over in front of us. Uh, and it was kind of, it, that's it's actually really cool to see, but also that, you know, people will park on the side and get out and they're like, 20 foot from where the bear just yeah. crossed and I'm like I don't think so <laughs> I just saw that bear there I ain't getting out <laughs> yeah he will if he's hungry <laughs> and he might be hungry we don't know I found a keto preacher <laughs> we're gonna be evangelized today <laughs> probably not <laughs> he's showing he's showing if he is mm-hmm Get off of me. It's a fly. It wouldn't go away. <laughs> he come back. Team 53. And she, she did pretty good life. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at that, y'all. I don't know how well y'all can see, see that, but there's a whole lot of reds, greens, yellows. It is absolutely breathtaking through there. And all those mountain ridges, my goodness. Glorious. That, that's exactly me. I can't see a daggone thing through this camera, but I know what it looks like with my eyeballs, and it's gorgeous. Another part of Cage Cove. It's beautiful. You got a trail there that runs all the way down. People use the wishing well forge right there. Lovely out here. And we're going to walk around inside of a house. So this room is a room to the right, our original building, and is used as a store. The room to the left and the 
three upper rooms upstairs and the kitchen and porch were added when it became a residence. Never had any of them coming. Oh. oh, my. Yeah, it's soft. <laughs> My dad used to have a stove like that. Beautiful. Oh, God. It's nice You can't go upstairs. upstairs. Yeah. I was wondering how I had four uh, front doors. <laughs> and she has this. I found an old house back here. Well, I didn't exactly find it. It wasn't missing. But um, it just drew me in. You could just, I don't know, you could smell the history coming off this place or feel it. You said this was the oldest one? Yep. In the area? Yep. Yeah. You could just kind of look at it and and feel it. And we're in Elk Elkmont. It's nice to come out here with Nora. She knows a whole lot about the area and stuff that I have no idea about. <laughs> <laughs> and it does look like a lot of these places are completely under construction and stuff. Oh, they're fixing some of them up. They need to because they slant into one side. Yeah, they are. And it's like I was telling her and this little area reminds me of the scenes in Dirty Dancing where they were in those little cabin-like places. Super cool area. I really like that one, too. There, under it. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he was getting stuff out of this house, too. Oh, wow. He just put this uh, a mini break. Let the bear go on its way. <laughs> huh. Well, I guess we have to walk inside that one now. Wow. Well, love wraparound porches. I mean, I guess who don't, though, but that's a creepy area. Yeah, I think this is the house that. <coughs> There used to be like a, a bedroom in here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Yeah, it's in there now. I think this is the one they did that stick figure um, stuff to see if there was people in here. Oh, wow. Against this, this wall. Oh, no, they didn't catch Hey, you guys, when you're reviewing this, let me know if y'all see or hear anything. Because y'all know you're going to get the better stuff than we are. I only got 19 minutes for a time now. There's no bed frame in here. Step down, gotta see it. Maybe you was coming. No, oh, they put me an outhouse in that. <laughs> and then you just can't get to it. Oh. They're evil. <laughs> They're evil. <laughs> a shower on the other side? Yeah. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I'd live in this house now. <laughs> and be perfectly fine with it. That's all right. I get my daddy to fix that. <laughs> Oops, sorry, hi. Here, you let them go first, Savannah. Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry. Where? Oh, oh, okay. Hey, to be honest, I wouldn't mind having this house at all. <laughs> I 
Oh, it's got the historic glass in it. Ripple effect glass. Y'all know I like that one over there. It's blue. <laughs> that. All the colors. It's beautiful. There's a deep drop off there, but I've decided a mountain. And it goes all the way down through there, but you can't really see it good. Trees right there, so if I can zoom in on them. They're like all colors and just like a small thing. Best part of the trip. <laughs> For me anyway. You guys, I look like absolute <laughs> But it's late at night. It's um, almost midnight, I think. And I'm getting ready to go to bed. I thought I'd just go ahead and get these videos off my phone. This is what we did today. Me and um, hubby and Nori Lori or Nora. And she has a channel. So uh, Nora, if you'll just comment below. And people can click on it. And I'll just like pin it to the top. Hubby's over there watching a movie and everything. So I hope it's not too loud. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell if you're new here. And we'll be back to our regular scheduled keto programming on Monday. And as always, if you need help with your ketogenic journey, my contact information is in the description below. Visit ketodiamond.com for free foods list. Play, um, uh, God, what's it called? <laughs> beginner's Guide. And there's, there's a Beginner's Guide on the front of this channel. I am looking so old, but I think it's just because I'm so tired and I'm kicked. <laughs> huh? I might be a little bit old. It's all right. It's crazy. Laugh lines. Those are sexy. Means I've laughed a lot. Missing my grandbaby. Something fierce. Oh, I I video chatted all of them tonight. My hair is in a weird state of trying to dry, where I did a, a treatment on it and everything. So, uh, there's ways to support the channel below. There are great links in the description below. Now let me shut up, post this video, and go to bed. <laughs>